Welcome back in what's changed since last time. Well, not much. The flat floor is cut shape, done a little bit of filling, make the holes less obvious, and I've chamfered that so it's got a flush edge uh, for the bottom, keeps the airflow smooth. I need to make sure these bits stay in, piece, in place, so I'm going to put the carbon fibre over it. Then you'll see me do the whole layup with the dial in, which is like Kevlar, but cheaper. Uh, I'll put carbon fibre wrap on the wood because carbon fibre will stick to the wood better than the dial in. It's apparently it's a pig to work with. This will be done instead of the normal slapdash amateur who knows what method. This is going to be the professional focused slapdash who knows what method because this piece will be appearing on the final car. So first thing, get these scraps of carbon fibre cut and wet laid onto there just to keep the flat floor together. Time to do the proper layup. Uh, this is where this shit gets real. You're about to watch me. One, make an envelope to put this into. Two, cut some carbon and some dial into size. Wrap it in mylar, which is basically in plastic to make it all smooth. Vacuum it up with a bit of breather and hopefully everything will be smooth. Pink plastic and tacky tape to make the envelope. This is when I realised just how big it is. It hardly fits on my bench. That comes back to haunt me later. Roll the carbon fibre across the bench, use the wood as a template, tape it up so I can cut the seams without destroying the weave. Once it's cut, check the size, put it on a roll and repeat for all of the layers. The plan is carbon one side, flip it over, dial in the other, then wrap it in mylar to get a lovely smooth finish. Yeah, great plan, but it goes horribly wrong, as you'll see later. This is it flipped over with the dial in down, looks okay so far. And here comes a mistake. Instead of using two sheets of mylar, one on each side, I decide for no good reason to fold it over. As you can see, it disturbs the carbon. Every time you push it down, you get air bubbles. It won't fold over the tight crease. What a fucking dick. You can imagine the fun I had getting that lot into the envelope on my own. And did it leak? Yeah, of course it leaked. Could I find the leak? No. Somewhere down here, but God knows where. Sometime later, I remove the envelope of the mylar. My God, this stuff comes off easy. This is definitely the future. Mylar gives a lovely finished surface, shiny. Dirt just flicks off it nice and hard. But where I had the fold over, where I had ripples, where the vacuum bag didn't work, where I fucked up, it's still got big problems. So there's quite a bit of post-production finishing to do on this piece, to say the least. Quick whiz round with the angle grinder, then blast it with a 40 grit. Shows it looking a lot better, but a lot more sanding to do to get rid of those ripples. Much sanding later, it's not quite the abortion it once was. Those edges are still rough as fuck though, so they're going to need some trimming. Clean off the surface, bit of fusion fix to glue the dry carbon in place. That's going to get wetted out when I put the epoxy layer over the whole of the piece. As you can see, I might have sanded off the ripples, but there's still dry patches and voids and things. So that's definitely going to need another coat of epoxy over that. And here it is with the epoxy on it. This is the dialed inside that faces the road, so there's no fancy pattern. And it looks better. Not brilliant, but better. Okay, so let's stick it on the car. Do not ask how hard it was to get those holes to line up for those bolts. But that one in the corner particularly. But it's okay and it's strong. I've sat on that. And if I can sit on it, we can fit the air dam onto it. It's still some work to do, obviously. The two nuts with the big long threads hang down, they need cut to length and cap to nuts put you on it. The two bolts in the corner I'm going to replace with dome headed ones so they don't stick down so far. All to be done. The other thing to do is for you to hit like and subscribe. So thank you and till next time.